Ronald Owen Stewart, here's Joel Ernest. Taken down, doesn't release it. And he is gone. That shows really good intent, nice and early from Essendon. Dan Unit showing the importance of being on Ernest. Oh, 35 out. Unit converts. Goal apiece in the semi. Consistent goal kicker. He's only been kept goalless on one occasion this season in his 18 games. And he hits a scoreboard nice and early this afternoon. Short, half volley, good from Hocking. Missed the intended target of Hind. Ellis commits, was maybe taken high. Clearing kick from Ernest. Forward over the top. Long. Outstanding mark of the highest points. Jake Long, the son of Michael, spears it in towards Stewart. Punches it low towards Heppel. He moves it on quickly inside 50. Oh. Unan! Dan Unan last week, just the four touches and a goal in the elimination final. But this afternoon, already much more involved. This will be his fourth in the first quarter. Yeah, super grab there in between two Richmond defenders, and he's lining up to kick two goals in this first quarter. The big fella should just be handballing from now on. This is an aggressive kick. There's no one in Essendon's front half. Unan tries to turn provider. Hawking committed and can stay afloat. Bounce off the attempt. Here's Josh Green. It's like putting the demon here for the last ball last week. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just one of those things. Football, it's, it's contact injuries, so we'll, we'll just uh, obviously fill the gaps we need to fill and we'll be right. That's a great contest, Heath. Your game plan at the moment seems to be standing up. Aaron Heppel, he can play everywhere. He's missed a fix it. He's been through the midfield. He's resting forward now, and his 10th touch could be an important goal. It is. Lloyd rolled in the tackle, minor. Shows off Unan, almost came back to him. Free kick bombers, high contact against Manor. He's just developing into a really good prospect. Given off to McNeese, flying shot at goal is good! Ridley's handball partly smothered, it ricocheted to Lloyd. Now an opportunity for Tigers, wide open at half forward. Coleman Jones run down from behind. Injured Jacob Townsend at the lower screen there also. Watching this one, Unan. Kick two, good miss, off to Hind. Again, he's running at the moment. Cuts the ball for Green. Excellent. There's some connection. Unselfishly, he didn't just blaze away. He put it to the dangerous spot, and Brendan Ellis thought he was in the box seat there to take it. An uncontested chest mark, but Green just popped up out of nowhere. Hot start to the third quarter from Nick Hind. Josh Green's already got one. Keeps it low and cancels out Charlie Thompson's goal. We're back to the halftime buffer. It's a brilliant uh, do-or-die semi-final. We get to talk to the, to the skipper as the game's unfolding. Kudos to him and to Essendon, and to Stewart for that mark. Is this the moment for James Stewart? Mine it. Kick ineffective, Silvestro. Alice, pressure from the back, Hebel. And he timed that to perfection. Then Aaron Heppel just hitting up late of the, on the sweeper. Brandon Ellis arguing he got the handball free in time. Soldo comes back to plant himself. Green, he's just a thief. Well, this was the great tackle that set up this Ford opportunity. Heppel coming off late from that stoppage. He pumps the ball inside 50. A big pack and off the hands. Josh Green just standing there, kicks his third. Francis couldn't take it cleanly, which opened the door for Miller. High kick. Hartley, one-on-one -on -one with Ballard, and does well. Dan Jordan said to Michael Hartley and his teammates, be bold. Again, doesn't go the talk, but a very effective drop punt to Stewart that was chopped out of his hands and simply had to be 50. Two behinds today, 15-18 for the season. Now is the time to stand up. again, confronted by McQueen, steps inside, accelerates away, kicks it inside 50, Miller in the front, great mark, Jack Long. It was heading goalward, Noah Bolter, lopes away to 50, gets taken to the line, gone! Free kick, Jackson Merritt. 15-50. From direct
directly in front to put the Bombers back in front. Heppel, plus his hind, can he bust free? Can he break the line? And so the rates away from Ellis. Hines had three bounces, goes inside 50. Stewart! <laughs> it was going to take something special. And Nick Hyde decided he was going to be the one. He's got the leg speed, we know. He just tucked the ball under his arm. Richmond couldn't stop him. What a moment for James Stewart. He's already kicked one in this final term. A point ties the scores. A goal puts them in front. We know that accuracy isn't a forte of James Stewart. He's had a massive last quarter. Four big marks. Takes his time. Takes a deep breath. Deliberate approach from directly in front. Stuttering. 40 out. Kick on its way. It's good. Bombers lead. Stewart kicks his second. Essendon. Superb bit of play from Nick Hine, and that's the reason he's on AFL radars. He's got leg speed. Wasn't a perfect kick inside 50. 